ever wondered about the intersection of, of education, family values, and a child's innocence? Today, we delve into the thought-provoking topic that impacts every parent out there. In the fast-paced world, the World Health Organization offers comprehensive guidelines for sex education. But here's a twist. These guidelines don't always align with the values and beliefs of families. For these families, their faith is at the core of their lives and their determined to instill values of the children that align with their beliefs. That's why the timing and content of sex education is of utmost importance. So some argue that WHO should focus on addressing critical global health issues such as excess deaths, obesity, hypertension, and even gender dysphoria, rather than comprehensive sex education. Many believe that prepubertal children should focus on fundamental skills like reading, writing, arithmetic, character development, and civic responsibility, rather than comprehensive sex education. It's about fostering innocence while nurturing growth. You see, it's not about withholding information. It's about ensuring that discussions on sexual and reproductive health are age appropriate and respect the family's autonomy. Because when it comes to the values we hold dear, be it from our faith, our culture, it's the family that should hold the reins. Schools and organizations like WHO are there to support, not replace the role of parents in shaping their children's moral and ethical compacts. Ultimately, it's about balance, balancing the need for comprehensive sex education with the value of, again, age-appropriate family-driven teachings. Some suggest that comprehensive nutrition education could address many of the global health issues we face. Respect for the differing viewpoints, open communication, and mutual understanding can guide us to this balance. In this complex world, where health guidelines meet family values, we need to remember that at the heart of it all, it's the family, it's the family that holds the key to molding the next generation with care, love, and respect for the values we hold dear. So as we navigate these challenging discussions, let's remember the wisdom of Proverbs 3, 1 to 8. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean up on your own understanding. Know your ways of to Him, and He will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. May these timeless words guide us as we navigate that intricate intersection of health education, family values, and the shaping of our children's future.